Welcome back. We are us, and this is... Nope, it's not Black Myth Wukong. It's definitely not. I'm thinking it's the Thaumaturge. But don't quote me on that. So... So we have to go pick up Svetlana now, huh? Should be this way. They live near the cemetery. Sir, my name is Viktor Shulsky. Grigory Rasputin said I could find him here. I can sense. just got a few people together who I can assist with their spiritual purification. Have you come to get our friend? I mean, I am... I guess you could Consider it curious? Not interested, but wondering. Who's crying like that? A sinner, Victor. Bemoaning his poor choices and the temptations he succumbed to. I didn't invite you this time. I know you're in a hurry. Yes, I'll get her out of here. Watch out for yourself, too. Thank you. I hope that you've had a hospitable stay. You have uh, unsettling friends, truly. <sighs> the Nadarzhinskis are reserved and boring, unlike that uh, Grigory. What do you think of him? I don't. I'd like to leave this place now, if possible. We'd better get a move on. Finally, don't forget my luggage. You should probably be saying that to a mirror. Come on, it's time. Look around this inner museum, head down. That building in front of you. The entrance is around the corner. You pick some very interesting people to work with. What's that? From now on, that's your problem. Entrance around the corner, right? <laughs> he said don't look around. It's probably best if I don't. I will. That XP, though. Filling. I hope you know what you're doing. Did you want a pumpkin carriage and some glass slippers, senora? Smuggling in as romantico as that. Javier, yes? I've outgrown fairy tales. I'm here to make a deal. 
friends. I left that fucking chest by the door. I could barely lug it. Big as a whale's two heads. Are you gonna do something or just stand here and stare? The police said the entrance has me a little concerned. Did something happen we should worry about? Esos pinches pendejos can't keep their hands to themselves. Someone fucking filched a weapons transport and now the police are shitting themselves. They're looking high and low, even under hookers' skirts. Somos profesionales. We'll keep out of sight and we'll be gone, Skeet. So what's the plan? What are we doing? You'll get papers. Austrian ones. Almost authentic, but don't go flashing them left and right. Then it's off to the pier and onto a boat out of the city. Then a steamship upriver. In Krakow, a transfer to a Vienna-bound train. We'll be there in a few days. Si, bueno. As soon as we agree on the money. Your turn. Tell the gentleman about the compensation. You'll get my whole fortune. The appropriate paperwork will be yours as soon as I leave Warsaw. Toda? All of it? Meaning how much? Enough, so you won't have to lift a finger for the rest of your life. What about the travel chest? Do we have to bring that? Oh, absolutely. That's exactly what I'm paying you for. So, all right. Vamos? If this is going to work, then we need to get going. Ariel, you go to the puerto and call the little captain. La señora will get changed and we'll follow after you. Victor will come too. You'll see if anyone's following us. Что? I do what? What you paid for. Via Candidus, my friend. Agita Nar, Shaifella. I get it, at least this time. You don't want to run while there are a bunch of police around. Some might say it could draw attention. Also, it gives me a very good opportunity to keep an eye out for Uh oh. You fool. You damn wife fucker. You've ruined my life. Your chica did what she wanted. Victor, tell him I'm right. <laughs> Two of you? I'll fuck you both up. I'm going to get killed because someone disrespected the sanctity of marriage. He's got a trait that reduces the impact on... So... We probably... Dang. Who's going first? Guy in the back? can't spend the entire goddamn fight trying to stop this guy from doing what he's going to do.
So instead, I'll just drive the other two on the sides insane. Lelic, my boy. Ah, I see what happened. See? On Mournful Tones, it's two. But instead of displaying the two, so I then know that that's its base and can do the math myself, that it will still affect him by one, it instead changes it to one. Gaslighting me just, just the slightest bit. But that'll do. That'll do, Pig. Uh, crap, we only have one turn. And then it's going to hurt just the slightest bit. Of course, we've got someone else to take a few punches and stabs and a, a gunshot. So that's nice. Could straight skip straight to killing this guy. Nope, that would cost us a lot of harm, though. That would work. I'll cast Suffering on the guy on the right, but we can kill this guy next turn? So we'll go ahead and do this. Doesn't matter, he doesn't see his turn completed. I noticed the part where they're all going to attack me. That's kind of strange. Uh, Javier, that's his name. And Javier, Javier is over here pretending it's a 1v1. It's not. It's... Mm, it's not a gangbang, though, so... Don't mind me. Uh, oh, he only cast the counter on himself. I thought he was going to put that on everyone. Oh, that makes this so much easier. Yeah, this is definitely doable. Did I put that on the right person? I hope so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
I'm sorry, this guy is still alive. Why? I, I really, I don't understand. Why is this guy still alive? I don't understand. See, I misunderstood the damage prediction. No, this guy has way too much health. It doesn't make sense. Something funny happened while I wasn't paying attention. If we go for this, and then will Doom's will Doom activate sooner once we get the damage out on this guy, or is it locked to what it is now? And it doesn't adjust dynamically. Because the idea here is to punch this guy in his mouth to get the Bukovac in the mood. And then we can get this guy killed in this turn. For some reason, this is a 50% chance to just kill. That's probably calculating Javier's turn. Yeah. So that's that's what was going on. I think it was also accounting for Javier's attack on that guy the first turn, so things went not the way I wanted. Oh, this is freaking awful. Well, 
Well, while these two are on a date, I am going to go ahead and look at the big picture. And the big picture requires that I drive this guy insane. With the Lelix help, naturally. Javier's got a bit of a stab in coming anyway. I was confused that the guy took 10 damage. I don't have anything that does that kind of damage that quickly. I now realize that the Lelic is kind of useless because I could literally just do this myself. It interrupts his turn, but it... Yeah, I'll leave it at that. And instead inflict this on someone else. a turn. I'm protected, by the way. That hurt a lot more than I wanted it to. Now, we switch to the Bugabach. Blow this guy up. Inflict suffering on everyone else. else gets a turn. Not worried about him. My turn goes after the Bukovac, which means this should interrupt this guy. Wow, he just snatched the meat off his neck. That guy just dies, so we're not worried about him. Bloody... Bloody Wedding won't be useful because he's about to lose one of his stacks for this. It also takes way too goddamn long. I think half of 35 is what? Counterattack again. Oh, yeah, we can just spend our time stalling now, right?
What is this guy planning? Shallow cut? One turn down. Unfortunate. Well, the guy's dead to suffering, so that's fine. Just get rid of him. And then have Lelic interrupt this guy's turn. No actual damage, so there shouldn't be any counterattack. Have you ever considered celibacy? Your business would go better. But what kind of life would that be, Senora? He has a point. can't hold that there's no choice if god wills it a broom can shoot load it up vamonos there's no time i need another word with victor senora i wanted to thank you i don't know anyone who'd risk his life for a stranger if there's any way i can repay you just say the word I don't want anything. I hope you make it safely to Vienna. I'm grateful, but I don't like being in debt. And I also believe you have the right to know. What are you guys lagging around for? Hurry up! Your father moved in the circles of people who shared his views, who would like to see Poland back on the map. Do you understand what I mean? He was a patriot. expect he could have gotten involved with such a lofty idea. He secretly dreamed of creating a force that would give true hope to the Polish people, one that might till this chaos in favor of the independence fighters. Loka, quickly! He believed he didn't need a great army, just a handful of daredevils with extraordinary abilities. You getting in the boat or not? I need to go. Your father was a wonderful man, Victor. And you remind me of him a great deal. Thank you for everything. Wait, who are these people? How can I find them? I don't know. They hide in the shadows. Good luck. 
I trust that you'll find your grimoire, Viktor Shulsky. Right. I completely forgot about the... I completely forgot about the grimoire. Adieu. Keep an eye on those bequeathal papers. If there's a problem with payment, we'll reach out to you. Why are you so distrustful? <coughs> when a poor man eats a chicken, one of them is sick. Amigos. Sexy bastard. Right, they're both um, thaumaturges, so he sees it too. That is unfortunate. That needed some cartoonish sound effects. I don't have any, so I'm not going to be adding them. You think they're dead? They had no chance. Clad in clay and the fury of the sons of Israel will arise to crush their enemies. Get out of here. Golems follow blood. The farther away you are, the better. What the hell are you talking about? And it will pursue them until their blood is lost in the abysses of Sheol. You understand? No. <laughs> I, I don't. <sighs> what am I supposed to do to get rid of him? The golem is going to look for you until he kills you. And all of those of your blood. That is, unless you can figure out why he was sent after you, you must have really gotten under somebody's skin. I haven't done anything to anyone. That means someone of your blood did it. Do you hear me? Ask your blood. Get lost. You're not exactly my favorite person right now. I guess there's nothing for me here. I would assume that's trying to that's them trying to tell me that there's literally no reason for me to continue being here yeah it looks like there's literally nothing I have to get out of the port. Something's happened on the pier. You think we didn't hear you? Now shut your trap or you'll get the police on our asses. Yeah, we paid them not to see us, but not enough to ignore these kinds of scenarios. <laughs> and what else are you going to tell them, moron? Your home address? Shut it and pack up. Walking a tightrope. The smugglers play... The smugglers pay police officers not to patrol the pier too closely, but they won't ignore them forever. 
illegal. Ooh. Stuff to sniff. Illegal cargo. Whatever, whatever's in these packages, there's little chance it's legal. <laughs> Smuggler's boat. The boat is full of boxes. With hands trembling in fear, they were throwing packages onto the boat. What was that strange noise from the pier? One package almost flew into the water. Someone is about to detect one more slip-up. And the whole elaborate plan would go awry. The lamp? Street lamp. Wasn't there. No. No, no, there wasn't. Never mind. One of the few working ones in the area. Standing under the street lamp, the police officers are shuffling their feet. True, they took bribes to turn a blind eye to the smugglers. But no one said there would be so much noise. If this continues, they'll actually have to do something about it. Ugh, imagine that. And so, the conclusion, the possibility of escape. Police officers are about to become interested in what's going on right under their noses. If I make the smugglers accidentally draw the attention of the uniforms, I'll be able to slip out of the harbor undetected. Making such a racket, the bosses will come running. All right, playtime's over. Round them up. Oh no. And he says, Smugglers, I don't know anything. Get out of here. You literally are paying them. That's not... Yeah, that's roped off. Yeah, that's not... That's not what... Well, that's unfortunate. guy in back doesn't have anything. I can actually... I think I can off the guy on the right here immediately. No, the Lelic requires two turns. So it depends on how things look. Oh, great. That's great. Wait. No, that's the Bukovac. I don't want to waste 
this just to get suffering on the guy. time. all enemies focused by one but the other guy won't be affected like I need him to be actually I think this is a really good choice of course it does between 15 and 75 damage so might not. There's no telling who it'll go after. But wouldn't it be nice if we can keep this guy in breakdown while using the Velas to murder the other two? I'm going for the interesting play here. Hopefully this doesn't consume his breakdown. Dead. Kind of sucks I lost my turn, but percent chance to just wipe this guy off the map. I like it. Protected, by the way. Now what really sucks is that apparently the enemies, the enemy can just freely be done with the breakdown state after one turn. But I, I however, am stuck with it over multiple turns, which is just gee golly great. I don't think I need to deal with that guy right now. <laughs> Interrupting this guy's turn. Never mind. There's nothing over there to see. So this guy is super dead. It's not the way that should have gone, but... Okay.
I went through all that trouble to set up the smugglers and then just... <laughs> Let's see if I was actually right. Yeah, there's literally nowhere to go up to. This is nothing. So I had to... Okay, so that's less awful. Yeah. All in all, not too bad. He said prematurely. Don't even think of reaching for your magic book. Fanya's pistol has a very sensitive trigger. The second he moves, I'll blow his brains out, Chief. Chief! Let's do our best not to have Vanya shoot you in the head. All right. All you have to do is tell us where Svetlana Petrovna is. See, this whole bit doesn't really make any sense because the police were looking for... The police were only here for um, a weapon shipment that got swiped, according to Javier and whatever the other guy's name is. So why in the world would they actually know about Svetlana? None of this makes any sense. The last time we saw one another was probably at the party with the ghost. The one that got ruined. Don't you remember? He'll have to try harder than that. Okay, I guess they just magically know everything. I'm afraid uh, Svetlana is dead. Are you sure? She went down with the boat and didn't resurface. Nay. Victor, I'll be honest with you. That woman was a Gordian knot. I know that she spent years compiling all sorts of compromising material against the Tsar's government. She was a traitor. We were observing her, but she managed to get everything out of her apartment. I need to know if her knowledge could threaten the security of the nation. <laughs> I don't see how that I don't see how using this going with this answer helps us right now. As far as I know, all Svetlana's secrets went with her to the bottom of the Vistula. <sighs> Should we take him to the Citadel, Chief? No, Vanya. We'll finish this here. I'm guessing he was one of, um, what's the guy's father's name? Why did you help Svetlana? Um, I really actually want to try to remember this guy's name. Nope, I 
I mean, I heard, I've heard it like a handful of times, but mostly it's just your father, my father, father. Oh, well. Anyway, this guy was probably working with Victor's father. And it's a patriot. We don't need to ask why he shot Vanya. The emotions linking her to my father seem sincere to me. I trusted her. What if you were wrong? Maybe your father got together with her because I told him to. Oh yeah, he totally Would seems like that kind of I person. Told you that your father didn't trust her? No, I wouldn't. Where's my father's grimoire? Look for it in uh, Stanislav's circle of old friends. People who could take advantage of a missing grimoire. Thaumaturgists. Do you know who they are? Where I can find them? No. But once you do, don't neglect to inform me. And watch out. They're very dangerous people. I need to get out of here. I hate to miss anything, so I'm going to be thorough, but... It has been a full day for this guy, hasn't it? Ah, oh, you're finally here. We've been waiting for you. I'm afraid I was boring your charming sister with my chatter. Ah, oh, nonsense. I'll leave you two alone. You look tired. Is everything all right? Do you need my help? I didn't expect a home visit. I wanted to find out if Svetlana managed to leave safely. I'm afraid Svetlana is dead. <sighs> I was afraid of this. How did it happen? I saw a golem. A golem? From Jewish legends? Is it a salutor? Yes, and it turned out to be a very real salutor. A material one. I didn't think that was even possible. And what does it have to do with Svetlana? Did the golem kill her? You could say that. The golem sank her boat by collapsing the roof over the pier. Svetlana intended to live off of selling other people's secrets. Secrets can be deadly. Do you want to know what she shared with me? I mean, in for a penny, right? I'm intrigued. The question is, can you bear the burden that she also carried? I said, in for a penny. Can you say which secret of Svetlana's you mean? She had a whole chest full of them. That wasn't in the chest. And now it's only in my memory. Will you tell me what this is about? Not here, no. Get some rest first. At our next meeting, at the Marijinskis. It's safe there, for now.
Thank you for stopping by. See you again soon, my friend. One more question. Might this golem cause you any trouble? I'm sure I'll find out soon. <laughs> right. I think we need to have a word. Uh-oh. How do you know people like this, Rasputin? How long was he here? He arrived shortly before you did. Unexpectedly, he scared Grazina. I received him in the salon so that he wouldn't go wandering through the house. What were you talking about before I interrupted you? What difference does it make? About... Strange. I don't remember even. Sometimes he has that effect on people. <sighs> what kind of person is he? He's that miracle worker I was writing to you about. The one who helped me return to my senses. Not completely, I think. Given that you brought him with you. He just came to see me. I owe him a lot. It looks like he knows you better than I do. Well, I'm not going to scold her that much is for certain. We really don't have the we don't have the high ground here, let's say. What makes you dislike him so much? It's how he talks and his eyes. They unsettle me. And he smells. Haven't you noticed? I can still smell him here. I can only congratulate you on having friends like that. First Njejic, now a gloomy hermit. And ladies of the night have started hanging around outside the windows. Are they also friends of yours? Oh, <laughs> really? Are you serious? What are the whores doing here? I... Are they going to try and stab us too? I mean, it's been that kind of a day. Who are those women? Horace, Victor. Prostitutes. Women of easy virtue, daughters of Corinth. Courtesans, moths, hookers, floozies. I've been seeing two girls around here recently. They stand out on the street and peek into our windows. Maybe Abaurisa is playing a prank. This can wait. Ligia, I'm really dead on my feet, but there's one more thing we need to have a word about. I wonder what I don't know yet. Was there anyone who very openly disliked father? More than you? Touché. <laughs> did he know some sort of thaumaturge who might have been out for revenge? Or did he mention a coterie to you at any point? Did he meet up with other thaumaturges? As far as close friends, I think you already know that's a dead end. And he never introduced the tomaters to me. How long have you known your chief? What does that matter? So you knew he worked for the Ohrana? Yes. You'd have found in the end anyway, but he asked me not to tell you right away. I understand that each of us has various relationships we're tangled up in. But I think we should start talking about them more often. Agreed. I'll only add that a contact like him is very useful in business. I'm guessing he knows how to arrange contacts for you. I'm sure he often invites you to all sorts of soirees and receptions, right? I don't always accept. It seems like we've each got our own miracle worker. I know who he is, and I treat him very cautiously. 
Plus, we've already established that you don't report to me about your acquaintances. Besides, it was Papa who introduced him to me all those years ago. What's the real reason we're talking about Konyechkin? I saw him once more at Port Praga. Uh, what were you doing there? Fiatlana. She wanted to flee the country. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Do you know what forces you're playing with? You know full well who she is. Who she was. Sorry, what? Svetlana is dead. She was just setting off on a lovely voyage when the golem appeared and... Svetlana is dead. We're finished. They'll put us both in prison. What will become of us? I think Veronin has his own problems right now. Don't worry, nothing will happen to us. I'll make sure of it. How will you do that? Rub my magic book, probably. Actually, Rasputin might have some information that'll help towards that end. He's a slippery little devil, I'll say that. Uh... I don't necessarily trust Rasputin, but he's proven useful. I think Rasputin will be able to help. <laughs> Your magic monk? <laughs> yes, he certainly came across as a genuine altruist. You're allegedly dead on your feet, Victor. Maybe it's time for bed. Did you know that someone sent a golem after our family? A golem? <laughs> the kind from Jewish legends? This one was very real. It destroyed half the port while it was trying to kill me. Port Praga? Are you all right? What were you doing there? I was tracing father's missing grimoire. Someone sent a golem after him. And now that person is trying to find us, too. Why? That's what I have to find out. You haven't experienced anything unusual recently? Nothing so remarkable, given I'm living with the Thaumaturge. You think there's any way I'd have let a golem slip by me? Look, why don't we leave this conversation until morning, hmm? I agree. Good night. Why are my cigarettes? Act two. Went by too quickly for me to read. Nice. Well, nuts. Looks like I was not able to successfully avoid Silent Hill. Nevertheless, that is going to do it for us today. Uh, no, it's not. It looks familiar and yet different. We are stuck here, and I can't say. Is this a dream?
stream. No. I need to get out of here. That's a real shame, isn't it? Follow. Blind fool. Well, what don't I see? Maybe you could give me an answer this time. What don't you know? Why is the golem pursuing our blood? You've not just put me in danger, but Liga as well. Who did you hurt so much that the golem was aiming to? Hold on. It succeeded, didn't it? That's what killed you. That's what made the building fall on you. He's a little slow on the uptake, isn't he? I don't want to agree I don't want to agree with his father, but uh maybe he's a little stupid. Why did you let a rat like Konechkin into our home? Now he's dogging Ligia and me. Were you working for him? Did you start informing on your customers for him? A fool's theory. Who inflicted this punishment on you? What for? And how the hell do I lift it? Everything I've done. Was with your children and mine. I've heard it all before. For our good, I know. Thanks a lot. I definitely didn't ask for a blood curse. Hmm. Are you finally going to say something? You've wasted your time. I left you all the answers. You just have to find them. Where am I supposed to look for them? In the back grimoire, which I nearly got from you. In that case, where is it? Who was it? Your friends? Your coterie that you hid even from your lover? Who are they? What were you planning? You possess everything I had. I have left you everything. Come back here. I'm not finished with you yet. <sighs> and so that is going to do it for us today. I hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves and the everything is... is and I have things to do. And everything you've seen so far... I've said it once, I'll say it again. We had a full day. We beat up police. We beat up... Uh, not necessarily jilted lovers. He was mar He's married to the woman. Who is now twice used? Eh. That's a bit presumptive. Presumptuous. Anyway. We beat up a lot of people today, and some have canonically died as well. Doesn't really make any sense that Svetlana died. And Javier is probably dead, too. He went in the water. The roof of the pier went in the water. He's gone. Anyway, the next episode will be on, this goes up Monday, so Wednesday. Hey, look at that. Well, frankly, by this point, you probably don't even need to be told that. But I do it just to be sure. And so, with all that said, we will see you.
next time.